couldn't have been me. I um, wasn't even here. I was, uh, I was at home trimming my beard. I mean, look, I'm an honest person. I'm a good person. What? Are you kidding? I could never do something like that. I... Uh, so that's just absurd that you would think that I would do something like that. It couldn't have been me. Just check my calendar. I... Seriously? You think I could do that? Besides, I don't really like candy very much. There is no way that I stole that candy. I am an honest person. Marcus, I, I, I wouldn't take chocolate. Very much. I, I, I like Twizzler pulling pills, but... I didn't do it. I cannot believe I'm being accused of this. This is absurd. This is a travesty. It's a mockery. It's a sham. It's a, it's a travesty mockery. Well, let me start off by saying I was nowhere near the building. But um, they, I've already checked the box, and none of those are in there, so that I wouldn't even want to take those. Um, no. No, couldn't be me. No, no, I never took the candy box. In fact, I even gave up candy for Lent, so it can't be me. What? You asked? No way. I wasn't even close to that place. You must have the wrong person. I was. The box of candy is all gone. I worked so hard to pay for that candy, now it's gone. But you know, I did see Mrs. Saunders drop this in the parking lot. And you see, it looks like a candy wrapper. Miss Whitley, I saw her leave some chocolate outside of Mr. Matt's office on that little bench out there. So I'm pretty sure she did it, but it wasn't me. I was supposed to meet Miss Peterson um, to go to painting with a twist, but you know what? Now that I think of it, she showed up a few minutes late that day. But Mrs. Leach, I mean, we're good friends and all, so I, I don't really know how to say this. You know, I don't think she really goes to the gym as much as she says she does. I just don't think that's humanly possible. So, I'm not saying she was here. I'm just not saying, I'm just saying, I really don't know that she was where she said she was supposed to be. That's all, but I don't want to say anymore. But you know, I do know Miss Peterson quite well, and she loves chocolate. So, you might look into her. Um, now, you know who you need to look into is Mr. McReynolds, because I know for a fact that he likes candy, and um, I've seen him digging in that candy box over there quite a bit. You know who I think might have done this? Just a hunch. That librarian of ours, Miss Valenzuela, yeah. She has access to all the books and all the equipment. And right behind her in the next hallway is that Mr. Keene. Now, I think maybe there is a conspiracy going on. And, you know, they probably took the things out of Miss Lars Darf's office. That's what I would think. Do you know who I really think you need to go talk to? Is Mr. Becker. Because he's always coming into the library to get our candy from in there. So I think he's your candy thief. depends on it, especially on Fridays. And now it's gone. I don't know. I don't know who would take it. I... Bad boys, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when we come for you?